So yeah, I'm here. I'm here for eight months. Um, I've been here since January, and I'll be here until August. Um, doing a dissertation project that's called Dramaturgies of Democracy, Performance, Cultural Policy, and Citizenship in Chile from 1979 to the present. Um, and my central question um, in the dissertation is, is how theater can enact forms of democratic citizenship. Um, and I'm looking at theater's dramaturgy, which doesn't mean just the show that you see, but is also the way it's rehearsed, who's involved, who has access to it, where it's being performed in the city, all of those questions, how that's like influencing a sort of idea about what democracy is. Um, and so I'm starting with uh, resistant cultural production during the dictatorship and, and looking at both how those, how those sort of protest performances are emerging out of both official and counter-official cultural networks. Um, and then what's really fascinating is that a lot of the people who've been working as artists underground um, during the dictatorship suddenly have to completely redefine themselves during the democratic transition and start to think about, oh, like, so now, now we're no longer making art that's resistant to this dictatorship, we're making art that's advocating for what next? Um, and so that transition becomes really super interesting and a lot of the underground artists suddenly become cultural attaches or have, you know, start to have positions in defining the new cultural policy apparatus. And so I start looking at, I sort of look at theatrical case studies and so how they're performing the citizenship, but then also trying to trace this, um, how the cultural policy apparatus becomes, become, becomes institutionalized and defined um, alongside sort of key moments and how people are discursively defining democracy. So moments like the plebiscite, mm -hmm. moments around the Truth and Reconciliation Commissions, moments around the student protests. Um, and so how that's also shaping like what theater is doing. And, and the question sort of then becomes like, um, Theater in Chile today is very, very, as, as music I'm sure is, is very political um, in really overt ways, but how is that also a category that's been produced by the state in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. even though it's thought of as resistant, is it being produced by this apparatus? And so it's the relationship of theater to politics and theater to aesthetics. Um, so I'm looking at um, a couple of artists in particular, but then also trying to map these larger networks. So um, the Colectivo de Acciones de Arte, um, Andres Perez has this wonderful play called La Negra Ester, which um, has been seen by like six million people, <laughs> um, and is and that's around the time of the plebiscite, and it's like you know reenacting this new vision of of, of of Chile and who's involved and who's excluded and who's part of that, um, and then looking at theater festivals now and how theater is being exported and sort of branded on the international market. So that's the basic rundown of it. <laughs> So if you guys have any questions or ideas, I'd love to hear some. So many questions later. Yeah, we should yeah. talk. <laughs>